So now you you know the, these uh these pirate organizations are gonna have their hands on such things, right? That's true. And you just had a negligent situation where you didn't <laughs> pay attention and your yeah. power plant just shut off and you forgot to purchase a fuse. Right. And it happened in lawless space. So now you got to send out a beacon, right? Right. Help. So this is where your, your Drake Carroll will come in at. Mm -hmm. Or your Mercury Star Runner. Oh, your Bano Merchant Man. Don't right. Forget that. So, so your Mercury Star Runner, right? Mm -hmm. You could send who, 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 whoever you have uh, 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 communications with, you mm -hmm. can send that that signal a message to the Mercury Star Runner and the Mercury Star Runner can deliver that information to somebody else to say hey I need there's a, a message a SOS message from uh, Commander Phase he's stranded mm -hmm. over such and such system this is he this is what he needs just like in uh in Elite Dangerous right <clears throat> right it does this 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 gameplay doesn't happen in game it happens outside the game but the players they come in game and do what they need to do it's called the fuel rats right the fuel right. rats is is an organization that where you have to go onto their website tell them what system you're in tell them how much fuel you have mm -hmm. and then they give you a list of instructions for you to do and mm -hmm. a player will send you a friend's request you accept mm. this friend request and you turn on your uh your flight beat mm. and they will be able to find you within any star system that you're in and this fuel rat he will fly out to any star system that you are that you're in and he wow. will refuel your ship refuel based based off of that request right mm. chris roberts want something like that in game is instead of you having to come out of game and go to a website to do it you gonna have to be able to do that in game with other players or and right. or npcs because this is the reason why the drake herald exists and this is the reason right. why the uh mercury star runner exists right so mm -hmm. it's going in in the future of star citizen not in the near future but in the future, it's going to come a time where you're going to have to think about every decision you make in Star Citizen. You're going to mm -hmm. have to make a calculating decision because you're not in the military. Remember, you are right. a citizen living yeah. amongst the stars operating on your own reconnaissance. So whatever happens to you mm -hmm. is going to be solely on your responsibility so you're going to have to make sure that your ship is in its best condition every time you step foot into it right just True. like uh when 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 drivers or semi-truck drivers by law before they jump into their vehicle they're supposed to do a a uh, a check a vehicle right. check or walk around and check all their their tire pressures check their oils check their air filters things of that nature make everything sure that this truck is in tip-top shape because this is a very large vehicle and it could do a lot of damage if things is not operating uh, properly and, and and on top of that it costs money for this yeah. ship to be sitting you see what i'm saying and not right. making the company any money so so that will be the same thing that is going to be required for you as a ship owner where and, and also with your um with your with your living expenses this is going to be your living expenses your mm -hmm. your cost of living you see so the more ships you own the more houses that you own the more land that you own you're going to have to keep with that uh upkeep and there's going to be degradation with that you know right when you land your ship in certain areas there's gonna be wear and tear for that but if you really think about it german i'm sorry to intervene if you really think about it you know what they pro they'll be promoting to a lot organization right. right see because in order for all of this to happen 
um, the only way you can survive is not on your own, but to be part of an organization. True. That is true. It's the real world, in, in, in a nutshell, you know. Yeah. Man. Since Sergeant First Class Damon, um, he says, I know they are going to have drones, but I wonder if they will have something like a repair droid, like as your ship is under attack, you have a fire or a hull breach, you'll send it to right facts. Facts. They're, um, the carrot that we know of has a drone station in it. Mm. Now, one drone you can it, it depends on what you set that drone to do depending on what type of drone that you purchase right so yeah. you can have a drone that will do uh reconnaissance you can have a drone that does uh, medical triage or you can have a drone to do salvage and you can have a drone to do ship repairs it depends yeah. on what type of drone that you that you use a lot of the ships that are coming they're gonna um most of your smaller ships, you have the handheld devices where you'll EVA out of the ship and do the uh, the repairs yourself by hand with the handheld devices. But the mm -hmm. much larger ships, you'll be able to remotely control uh, these repair drones and stuff like that. Now, remind you, think about it like this. Just because you have the drone and use the drone to do repairs, Chris Roberts don't want you to be able to miraculously repair stuff just by using a drone. He wants you to have the materials on board that you paid for with your money to to do the repairs. He don't want just you to have a drone where yeah. it's like, oh, well, I'm just damaged. I'm just going to get my drone and it just repair it automatically. No, he wants you to have the materials and all the, ne all the necessary uh, uh, um, um, items aboard your ship to make the repairs if you have if, if the carrick has uh requires iron or something mm -hmm. like i'm just using it as an example requires mm -hmm. iron but you got a, you, you, you got a, a a ship full of aluminum it's mm -hmm. not gonna work you gotta have all the right ingredients to repair your to repair your ship to get that drone to function otherwise you just be flying a a, 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 a drone for nothing right or you can you can have just like what lex is saying it be, is, is very important to be part of an organization because star citizen is an organization uh organization based game and right. and it does a lot of a lot of the sh well a lot of the gameplay requires for you to be in a team to 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 function and and operate in a, in a group because we got a lot of uh, multi-crew multi-crew ships and right. in star citizen just like in, in, in real life you know it's not what you know in star citizen it's who you know who so you know. you're gonna have to be able sure. to to create uh relationships and bonds with other players and other and other uh factions in the game in order for you to be able to uh, utilize their services and, and, and develop uh, trust and integrity so that you, your survivability in the, in the game is uh, uh, more so. Mm -hmm. hmm. Man, so I agree with you 100%. I agree with you 100%. It's, it's gonna like really what we're playing right now is essentially this is literally a tech demo right we're just testing s certain aspects like this is i 100 percent believe this is nowhere near how the game is actually is meant to be played you know and um you're absolutely right man with with, with some of the things that they're coming up with and how they're building things and how they implement things it looks like they really want to go in and make it a game where you live it you experience it not just play you know just play. Yeah. so already already that is part of our experience like us telling the armor to be to go down planet sides and enjoy the the snow caps enjoy right. microtech you know what i'm saying all the beautiful areas of microtech you know already right. that's part of our life in this in the verse 
right you know it, it's it's exciting stuff man like it, it's it's literally going to be a whole nother life to live you know yeah it, it, it's and i like the direction that they're going with it man it's it's uh like I, I can see why Chris Roberts wanted to have all this detail, right? Looking at the look at the dashboard of my ship, you know. He wants every he wants every button usable. Right. You know what I mean? Like this is the vision that this guy had. Every button to be an interface. Yeah. You know? It's uh it's gonna be a, a man, it's it's gonna be deep, man, like you can't just get up and leave. <laughs> yeah. No. You got to plan no, your trips. You, you got to plan your trips. Yep. You got to plan, plan ahead. ahead. Yep. And you got to plan with your friends and your buddies too. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can't just go out and go out on your own. You know, you you, you got to let people know where you're going, what area you're going to be at just in case mm -hmm. they can, just in can case get something happen. Yes. Because keep in mind, right? When you mm -hmm. go from the Stanton system to the Paris system, the mm -hmm. pirate system is a lawless system. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you're going from your, the safety of your home to danger. Right. Immediately, you know? Right. 